My dream home has turned into a ghost property and now home to all sorts of creatures. When I bought this property, I had a dream. A dream to live the city kind of life in my quiet countryside village. I sat down with my architect and drew my wish list. I can actually brag I designed my own house and it turned out just the way I wanted it to be. With lots of outdoor spaces, including balconies and terraces. After investing all my savings into this project, the pandemic happened and my project stalled. I have plans of moving into my property, finished or unfinished. My biggest worry is how my neighbors will receive me. There's this fear of the unknown that lingers in my mind. I plan to complete and move into the lower story of the building. And I'm already bringing in my favorite things. At the moment, I'm focusing on making the property habitable by clearing the bushes around, weeding the new trees, and just thinking what I should be doing next. It's crazy investing in something you want so bad. Then shit happens and you can't complete it and live your dream. But I trust it's going to work someday. For now, I want to begin working on the lower part of the house. That is the lower story. Complete it and just move in the way it is. The rest will be completed slowly by slowly. This rose here was burned down by the fire that was set on my property. I'm shocked it's blooming once again. This is how bad it was burned. I didn't expect any growth, but surprisingly, it's looking just fine. I love gardening. I love trees. I love everything green. And I'm glad I have some shade under this tree. Nature always gives back when we take care of them. And I'm glad all the trees that were raised down by the fire didn't die. Some survived. I guess I learned to coexist with these snails. There are so many of them here. So this is the problematic part of the house. It's the up the staircase. That's where the water pours into the lower story. So I'm just going to seal it off. Then do my plaster and move in. I have already started my little garden here. And uh, this is arrowroot I planted, and they are picking up well. I've also done weeding on most of the trees. Remember, I planted new trees after that fire. So I have this line of palms. I guess when it grows, it will look really beautiful. And this one was also raised down by the fire, but has sprouted again. It's 
so many snakes have been spotted on the property and now we are really focusing on cutting down the grass because they hide in the long grass so like this part at the back of the house the cutting is still on and you can see how long that grass is actually there are weeds that are climbing to the second story so i guess this is what we have to do first to make it habitable i don't really fear snakes that much but i don't want to run into them the grass is really really overgrown so we'll be cutting it into faces We'll first trim off the very long ones and then we'll do a round two where we will take it down to the ground and allow new growth and then plant new grass that will give us a loan. I had actually planted uh, some grass that was meant to give me a loan but then it's mixed up with the weed so I will be weeding out the grass I don't need before planting more of the grass that I need my bad I've not been keen on maintenance of this property but I take it up from now because I have to move in somehow It's been amazing hanging out with you guys. Wish me well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.